Hey everybody, have you been watching the news lately and seeing all of the latest hacks, malware, ransomware attacks and wondered, is my network safe? Is my personal data on my network safe? Are my kids safe? Have you ever wished that you had more information about what's going on with your network when it slows down or do you just wish you had more information period? Are you tired of upgrading routers every few years? If so, keep watching. We may have a solution for you. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about a product called Untangle Firewall. And before I get started, I just want to say up front that I am not a paid sponsor. They're not paying me to do a video on Untangle. Um, as a matter of fact, I pay them licensing fees. So I just want to be clear that this is not sponsored by Untangle. So what you're seeing on the screen is a simple, basic home network diagram. And this is probably 60, 70, 80 percent of what people are doing out there on their homes. You have the ISP supplied router and modem. You have the access point that's built into that modem. And it's also the firewall. It's an all-in-one device. It serves out IP addresses to clients. Um, it provides wireless access for clients on that network. And in the IT world, we would call this a single point of failure. This is also, in my view, a big network security risk because you have one point of ing ingress to your network. Where you really want to be is more like this, where you have the internet here, you have the ISP supplied modem here, and you have the modem plugged into a dedicated firewall solution. And behind that firewall solution, you have a switch, you have your access point, and maybe that access point uh, provides wireless access to the clients. The switch uh, provides LAN connectivity for the wired clients. A server may be supplying IP addresses and you have a dedicated piece of hardware just for the firewall. This is probably a better network solution for those home users and even small businesses. So what is Untangle? Well, essentially, it's a firewall. It's a dedicated firewall. It's a piece of software that you install on an older piece of hardware that you have. And what it does is it provides you with a firewall. It provides you with reporting. It provides you with overall a better network security model. You don't have a single point of failure where if the firewall is down, your access point is also down. Um, it's not a single point of ingress into your network. It's just you're getting away from the, the, the router wireless access point firewall model. The other nice thing about this is that it scales. You know, if it turns out that you have a lot of bandwidth available at your house, you'll find that some of these older routers run out of CPU and they're no longer able to process IDS or IPS traffic without running out of CPU. One other advantage of this is that this firewall is constantly upgraded. The software is upgraded many times every single year. It doesn't, it's not sunsetted, it's not, as long as you keep upgrading, and they're free upgrades by the way with the, with the home license, as long as you keep your firewall up to date, it stays safe, um, they test every single release, unlike this situation here, where if you were running this super popular router at your house, this WRT 1200 AC from Linksys, and I don't want to just pink on Linksys because Asus, um, all the manufacturers eventually sunset their hardware. This one just happens to be a few years old, and you'll notice that the last firmware update was in 2018. Do you think that maybe hackers out there, the bad guys out there have come up with ways to infiltrate this, this router in the last three or four years? I don't know. Uh, but the firmware hasn't been updated since 2018. That's the latest release. Um, even if you look at, um, for example, if you go over here to version 2, you'll notice that the last release was 12.10 of 2018. So, once again, I'm not picking on Linksys. I'm not saying that they're bad products. But eventually, they stop development cycles and they stop updating this hardware. And then the consumer is in a position where they can run outdated hardware and risk uh, a, a network intrusion, or they can go out and purchase something new. And that's basically the model that you want to get out of. And that is why 
this is the better solution for you. So you have a you have a firewall that's updated. You're leaving that network security model behind where you have an all-in-one single point of failure. You have something that scales. You know, if you have two gigabit internet connections and you need more processing power, you can simply just upgrade the, the hardware where the firewall is installed and it will scale with you. You never have to worry about running that CPU again, especially for IDS, IPS traffic. And you'll notice that, um, especially if you look at my Peplink video, which I'll link down below, it's a great piece of hardware as long as your internet connectivity stays below 100 megabits per second. But for gigabit connectivity and for multiple gigabit connections or even for multiple 400 megabit connections, you want something that's gonna be able to scale with you and your needs. The other nice thing is that you get more information out of a firewall like this. You have great dashboards that tell you what is happening on your network. We'll take a look at those in just a few minutes. You know, you have the ability to segregate your IoT devices onto their own VLANs. So if for some reason they start phoning home or doing something that you're not happy with, you can simply block their internet traffic. You can block access to the internet with one click of the mouse. That's the type of capability you have on this firewall. You'll know what the IoT devices are doing. You'll know who they're talking to. And how about your kids? You know, what are what are your kids doing on their iPads? What are the, how much bandwidth are their iPads using? What are they connecting to? You have all that capability with Untangle Firewall. You have things like WAN load balancing. We'll get into that a little bit and failover. If you're a streamer, for example, you can put OBS your OBS feed on one WAN interface. You can have your game traffic transit the other WAN interface if you have multiple internet connections. You have just, it seems like, unlimited amounts of options. Privacy. Do you want your household traffic pushed out to a VPN? Maybe you do. Maybe you want most of your stuff going out of a VPN for privacy reasons, except for example, your Apple TVs. VPN sensitive devices like Apple TVs or Roku's, maybe you don't want those going out the VPN, but everything else, you have that capability if I'm untangled. So you can set up VLANs. It seems like it, there's better security. You can get more information. If there's something going on on your network, you'll know what's happening. And here is what an untangled dashboard looks like. And I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger um, so that you guys can see this. And we'll talk a little bit about what we're seeing here. And I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this because we're gonna go over a lot of the features of Untangle in future videos. But as you can see, you can see your two gigabit internet connections. Here's the internet. You can see the uh, VLANs that I've set up internally. I have an IoT VLAN, a VLAN just for cameras, a VLAN just for my voice over IP devices. And then of course you have your internal 10G network. Uh, your backend interface where all this stuff transits, right? Because if you have two gigabit internet connections, people, you got to have a 10G interface on the back end to utilize both of those gigabit internet connections. You put a 1G here and it's going to, it's going to oversaturate. Um, you can see here what the CPU load of, of the firewall is right now, how much memory is being used. And keep in mind, I think I'm on a five-year-old, six-year-old Core i7. Um, with, with 32 gigs of, of RAM. I mean, there's not a ton of processing power here, but it's more than enough. Oh, actually it's a Core i5-2500K at three gigahertz. Um, and with a, and it's a four core CPU. So you, you can see here, there's not a ton of disk space, not a ton of memory, not a ton of processing power here. But when I want to utilize both these connections at the same time and max amount, it's more than enough CPU power uh, for Untangled Firewall. Um, you can tell what traffic's going out a tunnel if you have a VPN tunnel. Um, you can see here, um, if you want to see how many host devices, sessions, you have that ability. You can see on the map distribution here where connections are, are uh, heading to. Now keep in mind this is based I believe on GeoIP so it may not be 100% accurate but um, you have the ability uh, to at least see that. You can see what your interface usage is at. You can look at specific things um, on your inter on your interfaces and find out, you know, if if your traffic, if your WAN interfaces are saturated, who's doing what. Um, you know, you have a web filter, top host names and categories, and the list goes on and on. And this is just a dashboard that I set up for my my Untangle firewall here at home. Um, 
let's talk a little bit more about some of the apps that you can get. So you have a web filter, virus blocking. If you want to do web caching, you can do that. Bandwidth control, you can set up policies uh, for bandwidth control. Um, SSL inspector, application control. You can set up a captive portal if you wanted to set up a guest VLAN and have them sign in, for example, on an access point. You have that ability. Um, of course, you have the firewall and you have threat prevention, intrusion prevention, um, WAN failover and WAN balancer, I think, are two of the biggest biggest strengths of this particular firewall, and I'll talk about those just in a little bit. Um, you have the ability to set up a site-to-site -site VPN. You have the ability to do wirecard VPN, for example, if you want clients incoming to your network. And you have tunnel VPN, which allows you to push some clients on your network out, out of VPN, uh, like Astral or Surfshark or something else. So lots of capabilities here. Um, and I had mentioned you, you streamers out there, if you wanted to push your OBS stream out one interface and have your gaming traffic hit the end of the interface, you can do that right here. Uh, if you have a metered internet connection as your backup internet connection and your primary is not metered, you have the ability to push most of your traffic out of the unmetered connection. And if you have equal, connections both unmetered then as you can see I'm doing 50 50 here so these are just some of the features of untangle these are just some of the things that you can do um, and the power that you have where you can see every single session who's connecting to what who's doing what um, you have the ability to tag hosts um, you can see what devices are on your network and what they're up to and if you set up users um, and you can apply policies to them and you can set quotas. So just an unlimited amount of power, uh, it seems like with this particular product. And when I log in, it, like I said, if I have, if, if my IOT devices for some reason are using a ton of bandwidth and talking to phoning home to some foreign country that I'm not familiar with, and I don't want them to do that, I can simply cut off all their internet access with one click of a mouse. We have that ability. Um, you can prioritize your VOIP VLAN traffic, make sure that you're not, that your voice isn't cutting out. Um, if it's competing with other traffic on your network, I have, uh, security cameras and I don't want them talking to the internet at all for any reason under any circumstances. So I have a VLAN set up just for them and they don't have access to my other VLANs and they don't have access to the internet. They're segregated. They, they're completely cut off. Um, and then of course, everything else. Um, is on the internal 10G. So where do you get Untangled? Um, you can go to untangle.com and you can purchase a license here. But before you do that, I would just suggest that you try it out with their 14 day free trial. They're so confident in their product, they'll let you have it for free for 14 days. And then how much does Untangle cost? Um, so you have Home Protect Basic and Home Protect Plus. I would suggest that you look at both these plans, but you're looking at 50 bucks a year um, for their Home Protect Basic plan. Um, and that gives you almost full access to the whole thing, uh, most of their apps, and it costs less than a latte per month. You know, just something to think about. So lots of power, lots of functionality um, at your fingertips. And yes, you have to pay for a license, but it is totally worth it. And these guys know what they're doing. They have a great support uh, network in place to help people. And uh, not only that, it's just a product that keeps on evolving, keeps getting better. And like I said, they have a few different releases per year. So we'll go into more detail on WAN Balancer, WAN Failover, which like I said, I think is one of the biggest strengths of this product. Um, in a future video, and we'll talk about how to set up rules to push certain clients or certain types of traffic out one interface and some types of traffic out the other interface. And we'll, we'll talk about how we can configure WAN failover. We'll also be doing like a site-to-site uh, -site VPN video. Uh, for some reason, you have um, two homes um, where, and you wanna be able to keep an eye on what's going on at your other house while you're away or another location, whether it be work or whatever, you have the ability to set up a site-to-site -site VPN. Or if you're not comfortable with that, you have the ability um, to set up uh, WireGuard VPN so that you can just remote access into uh, your network from a remote location securely. Okay, so do me a favor. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and please leave me comments below. Just a couple of the things that I'll let you know I've been receiving is that um, the audio 
Uh, it's a little bit jacked. It's just because I don't have a shotgun mic yet, and I'm, I have one of those on the way so that you'll hear less background noise. Um, but until then, I'm putting some music in the background uh, so that you're not hearing the hum of all the machines I have in my office. So thank you for watching to the end. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you again soon.